Sometimes if you think it's a prize, you work hard. Why is that? You know, what is your motivation? So everyone's got to find out. And, and the people who end up being great in life, the Kevin Durant, the LeBron James, they don't need that incentive. They wake up every day with that work ethic in mind. How can I do the best? Is this real? When someone introduces me, how am I going to look that guy right now and shake his hand? The best I've ever done. Why not do your best the first time? Yeah, I just wanted to thank Terrell Dozier for having me over yesterday to speak to the kids and the Blackboards and Backboards uh, camp. I think what he's doing here is just a phenomenal idea. It's what needs to be done for the younger kids. He's catching these kids in middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and getting ahead of the curve on the important things besides the basketball. You know, the things you need to get to the NCAA Clearinghouse. All these kids want a scholarship, but a lot of them are get, giving misinformation as to what they need to do to get that scholarship and be eligible to play. Um, so what, what Terrell did yesterday, give a, a great one hour session with the parents and the kids, broke it down with handouts and a slideshow, uh, showing them what they're gonna need to qualify because the NCAA eligibility rules keep changing and uh, he's giving them that, that information which is great. So I came over and gave a quick speech on uh, the college recruiting process and our program at the City Rocks. Uh, have a lot of kids go on and play at the next level, but many of their schools are not giving the kids the proper information at a young enough age so that they can stay on track. So uh, I just say hats off to Terrell. What he's doing here is just incredible for these kids, and they should be very thankful, them and their parents, that they have this opportunity. Why not do your best the first time? Why not do your best ever? Because you, if you do that, you would separate yourself from the crowd. You know, I saw someone clapping a little louder for their parents, blowing a kiss to mom or waving at him and say, oh, that's a kid who loves his mom. He's appreciative of what she did. So we got to find things that motivate us in life. I like to use Bruce Lee for it. Anybody know who Bruce Lee is? Who's he? I like that much. That's it. But he says he fears not the man that does 10,000 different kicks one time, but he fears the man that does one kick 10,000 times. Say it again. He fears not the man that does 10,000 kicks one time, but he fears the man that does one kick 10,000 times. Anybody know why? He's gonna perfect that one. He's gonna perfect that one move. When he does that move, oh, it's gonna be great, right? And so I start working like that with the people that I train, and we're working on a few things, but we'll, we'll get a lot of time in, right? Repetition, repetition, repetition. And, and the goal is greatness, right? And greatness is consistency, so that's what we're gonna work on today. Right? Once again, I'm happy to be here at the Black Boards and Black Boards camp. Uh, we just did some fantastic skill development work. We took the ball handling, uh, footwork, finishing. It's a live score moves and one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is an exciting, great opportunity to work with young people in the Capital District. And I applaud Paul Dozier and his staff for having me and bringing people together to give these young people uh, some workshops, some life skills, and some athletes. No matter what your athletic ability is, I want to push it as high as it will go. So if you happen to be up here naturally, we're going to keep going. If you happen to be down here naturally, we're going to push you up as high as we can. Along the way, though, it doesn't matter how good you are, how athletic you are, the team you play for, whatever it might be, if we're constantly getting injured or in cycles of injuries or I do things that, that I think are smart or, or well intended and it injures you, we're not getting anywhere. People do what I do and like don't do that because it re restricts motion and it teaches the body to be weak in certain places. The problem though is that if you, so we, okay, that sounds great. 
But then people start getting hurt. I, you know, my coach is like, why am I taking angles anymore? So my thing has been, okay, we're probably going to keep doing that. My assistant, David Jankowski. And we thank Terrell and everybody for having us here today. This is our second final class of the day. And we're going to have a little fun for you. We're going to educate you about what we do. But our main focus today is to show about how to deal with the media. Interview situations, post-game situations. There will be a character I will be turning into, so I want to make that quite clear that that is somebody that is not me, but will be playing the role of a student athlete and coach. My name is Chris Williams. I do some motivational speaking. My platform is positive energy is a gift. Can we hear that? Ah, positive energy is a gift, not a big gift. But I need you to say it with me. Positive energy is a gift. Positive energy is a gift. I like to start writing it down. Again, it's more to it than what it sounds like. Positive energy. Everybody can be positive. However, everybody's not gifted in that particular area. I thank God I'm gifted with positive energy. I live this every day. I give that information out. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Chris Williams, AKA Smoothie, here at the Backboards and Blackboards with my good friend, T. Doe's, doing a great job. So many young people here with their parents, getting great information about NCAA, information about college recruiting, stuff that you don't get every single day. So I think it's an excellent situation. I've had an opportunity to speak to a group, to talk about the positive energy, and there's definitely great positive energy here without me. However, I'm here just to add just a tad, but again, so happy to be a part of the process. Uh, look forward to seeing a lot of these young people take their thing to the next level. But again, my hat goes off to my good friend Terrell Dozer, aka T Dozer. You're doing a great job. Peace. What's your dream? Go. What's your dream? Go. 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 Play basketball, college, NBA, college. Play, college. play college basketball. All right, what's your goal? What's my goal? Yeah, like what are you going to work on? I mean, your dream is to play. College basketball. What's your goal? That's going to allow you to play college basketball. So an example would be to do well academically, or if you you're right-handed and your left hand is weak, to become a better ball handler with your left hand. That would be like a goal, like a task. I wish to work towards. And then how are you going to do that? Work hard. You guys have to be more specific. So an action would be that you're going to dribble with your left hand every day for an hour to improve your skill. My name is Marcus Levitz from High Life, which is my lifestyle apparel brand. Um, I came in today and did a workshop, which was titled From A to Z, and it was teaching the kids about the process of achieving their goals and working towards their goals. That's one thing I've learned this past year when I started my apparel business. Um, it takes a lot of work, dedication, and commitment. Now I was just teaching them how to plan because too often kids, they don't know where to start. a team that we actually have an achievement. Great event. 
Uh, he covers all aspects of the student athlete, uh, from the educational point to the academic, the, the uh, athletic training, and the skill development on court. He's got a great idea um, and a great concept for this program. I'm uh, happy to be a part of it and just glad to have helped any way I could. Hopefully, some kids took you know one thing from me today, and uh, you know they can use it to build themselves. In this yes. Sorry. All right, hey, that's, a, that's great effort, okay? Focus though, concentration when you get tired. Focus on your form, whether it's a defensive stance, or we're doing high knees, or we're doing power jumps. Whatever it is in the training, when you're tired, you need to focus, all right? Because your form will bring you through it. And that's how you get better as an athlete, okay? They're not just going to look at you as a basketball player. What is your academic profile? Are you humble? Okay. Do you understand it's a privilege, not a right to be on scholarship? And are you able to now have discipline when you go to the college? So one thing I would do is I would only, always see what the parental situation is like. You know, and I wouldn't get cursed, but I want someone who's going to be in bed on time. I don't want them out until 2, two and 3 in the morning if they're trying to be an athlete and doing their studies. I don't want them hanging around with the wrong people in college. And on any college campus, there's kids that are very serious about their academics, and there's other kids that party all the time. It's the way it is. It's the way it is in society. Well, it was a great day. I uh, had a, a, a lot of fun talking to the kids about uh, what it takes uh, in terms of becoming a college uh, athlete. Uh, I, think, I think the questions and the way the kids responded to what I had to say uh, was great. And, uh, you know, you always want something to sink in, and I think uh, some of these kids uh, will eventually uh, you know, take some of the things we discussed and, and put them into their lives. And, Hopefully we see a bunch of overachievers become successful in the game and a little bit more importantly become successful in life. I also think Terrell did a great job uh, you know, running the event. It was, it was run very well and the kids uh, got a lot out of it. So the 2014 Black Boys and Black Boys Student Athlete Academy was a smash. Uh, I want to thank a lot of people who helped me make this possible. I want to thank Mike Grasso from Competitive Edge. I want to thank Andy Wright from Upstate Scout, Mitch Bonagiro, Jim Hart from the Albany City Rocks, Marcus Edwards from Height Life. I want to thank Mike Johnson. I want to thank DJ Jones. I want to thank Andrea Jackson for coming. Um, what we wanted to do this year was we want to keep building on all our blackboards and backboards and bring more and more diversity to the game. We want to bring more different topics to each kid here in the Capital Region and out. So we had kids from all over. We had Albany represented, we had Troy, we had Gilderland, we had Hudson Falls, we had Saratoga, we had Clifton Park, we had Colony, and then some. This is by far the best camp that we've ever had. I want to thank Eric McDowell, and I want to thank Dan Janikowski from Union College for coming out and doing media training with the kids. Denelius King from the Denelius King Basketball Academy came out with a great workout for the kids. Great, great, great energy for the kids. Um, you know, we had the Clearing House workshop. We talked about social media today, thanks to Willie Aloya from St. Rose for um, passing out the PowerPoint for the Clearing House. We want to also thank Kevin DeShay from the Clearing House Media out in the city. Dan Taylor from Siena College came in and did an awesome job with the strength and conditioning piece. We felt like our kids learned so much from here. It's important that our kids continue to learn and we at Positive Impact New York want to provide those opportunities for kids to continue to grow, not only academically, athletically and socially as well, and this is what we want to do. Also, a shout out to Goodfellow Films for providing us with the footage and doing what they always do. Until next year, be on the lookout. We've got the Capital District Classic coming up in 2015. We've got the Battle of the Borders coming up, and be on the lookout for the Coast to Coast Classic coming up in June. I'm truly blessed to have everybody be a part of this thing who was a part of it for me. We'll see you next time.